welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of avoiding living your life on autopilot. The truth is, many of us live our lives on autopilot without even knowing it. We let external factors like the weather, other people's opinions, politics, what's happening in the media, our jobs, and external situations affect our mood, which in turn puts us in a mundane cycle of living. Days, months, years then go by in this mundane state where our happiness is solely attached and influenced based on external things which are out of our control. Being mindful, setting intentions for the day, connecting with nature, being grateful, being fully present and breaking the cycle of routine by doing something that is out of your comfort zone are small things we can do to avoid mundane and routine living. Life is happening in the here and now, and we were put on this earth to thrive in every area of our lives, but we can only do that by switching our emotions from autopilot to being fully immersed in the present moment and the unlimited possibilities that are available to us in the here and now. As the saying goes, happiness is an inside job. Don't assign anyone or anything that much power over your life. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. And if you have some advice for someone who wants to do what you do, what will you say to them? You can have talent, but if you don't have discipline, nothing's gonna happen. Some people have less talent, but they have 70% of discipline. Mm -hmm. And they're successful because it's all about discipline. If you if you if you if you if you go a straight line, you're gonna see success. Simple as that. If you start smoking weed and spending your money and 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 doing this because you want to buy cars and buy stupid stuff, and that's not discipline. Discipline is being smart. Mm -hmm. Discipline about doing things right. And discipline is the word for everything. Next up on the show, we have American singer and songwriter Nikki Jam. Nikki has collaborated with artists like Enrique Iglesias, Daddy Yankee, J Balvin, and has won multiple Billboard Music Awards. Nikki, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's a pleasure to have you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I was just telling you it's freezing cold here, and I'm very jealous that you're in hot weather in Miami. <laughs> so lucky you. I, I, I bet you I bet you would love to be here in Miami right now. I, I definitely would. <laughs> so oh, 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 although I love Toronto. Shout I out know, to you. You were saying that you've been to Toronto. I love that. Do you see the CN Tower back here? <laughs> That's part of our, our logo. So we're it. definitely representing Toronto here. <laughs> you are hundred percent. So I want to talk about your successful career, but first I want to take it back to the beginning. So when did you realize your love for music? Um, I was eight years old. I saw Michael Jackson's uh, Thriller video and I said, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And what were some of your musical influences growing up? It's a little mixed because I'm Spanish and I was living in the States. So you could say it's, uh, you know, Michael Jackson, uh, um, Spanish singers like Juan Luis Guerra, you know, a mix of uh, hip hop, El Cool J, Ron DMC, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And I heard somewhere that a homeless man helped make your name Nikki Jam. Is that true? And if that's true, tell us more about that story. Well, you know, back is your name as a singer was like MC. It was like I was Nick MC and I told him that he asked me what was my name, what was my stage name, and I said it was Nick MC and he's like, nah, you're not Nick MC. <laughs> I was like very young and I didn't like Nicky Jam and people started making fun of me, calling me Nicky Jam and it just stuck with me. Mm hmm. Very interesting. And you know, you're of Dominican and Puerto Rican heritage. So how has your ethnicity kind of helped to uh, influence your musical style? Well, I mean, the combination is hot, you know, Dominican, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican has been part of the hip hop uh, movement from the beginning. You could say Puerto Ricans started hip hop with uh, African Americans in the United States back in the 70s. So we, we've always been a part of the urban uh, vibe and all that. And um, so that's all the music we was listening to. So as soon as I go to Puerto Rico and uh, uh, I listen to reggae music, that's because it was the Caribbean and they were listening to Buju Bantan and 
you know, all these uh, singers from back in the days, Cuddy Ranks and uh, Super Cat, all these singers, uh, that was my influence. And that's, that's that combination, you know, it's just Caribbean mixed with hip hop. And, and that's, that's, that's what Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico is all about. Mm -hmm. I've been to Puerto Rico. I love it there. It's amazing. And I've been to Dominican, both amazing places to be. I want to talk about what was your first major big break in the industry? Um, well, music wise, uh, I don't know, because I've been famous for a long time in Puerto Rico. I've been singing for more than 25 years. Uh, my first hits, my first hit was like in 1998. It was called Descontrol and it was there was this DJ called Playero, and I was like this biggest DJ in the street. He had his mixtapes, and um, I did that song, and it was a hit. And from there on, mm -hmm. yeah, there, you were it skyrocketed. <laughs> skyrocketed, and then I fell, and my career fell. And uh, you know, whoever whoever wants to know more about my story, there's a Netflix. Uh, oh. Docu docu set a series about my life, and uh, it would be way more interesting than hearing me <laughs> talk about it because I, I, I narrate the whole thing, so you guys wow. check it out. Okay, when is that coming out, or is it's it already, out already? Okay, it's already nice. on Netflix. Oh, El Ganador, the winner. You'll see the whole thing, and you see my story since I was a kid until today. Mm -hmm. And I heard you were discovered in a grocery store, so talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I used to pack groceries uh, when I was a kid, when I was 12 years old, to, you know, to earn money. I would try to make like $20 a day. With that, I would buy bread, milk, ham, cheese, eggs. And uh, I used to freestyle with all the groceries and I became a little celebrity uh, in that uh, grocery store. And uh, this lady came to me and she said she was the wife of, of uh, manager from uh mp records and uh they took me took me to the guy they filled me they signed me and that's when i came out with my first album mm -hmm. and what's been your favorite musical collab to date favorite musical collab. you've had so many <laughs> i don't know i don't have like a favorite one I I can say I love them all. I enjoy every each one has a their own touch, their own magic, and uh, I have like a personal value to all of them because uh, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. So work with uh, Shakira, I have a feeling, and, and when I work with uh, Mark Anthony, I have another feeling. When I work with uh, Romeo Santos, is a different feeling. When I work with Juanes, Daddy Yankee, etc., like. I'm a big fan of all these people, you know, and uh, I'm honored. I'm just blessed to work with all of them. I don't think I have a favorite one, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and speaking of tracks, you know, as you said, you, you have a new song with Romeo Santos. So let's talk about your new track. Yeah, um, my new track is called Fan de tu Foto. It means, you know, I'm a fan of your pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very sexy song. You know, it's just this guy that's obsessed with this girl and he's telling he's telling the girl, I just want, I mean, you know, just one night. Just let me get one night with you, you know. Apparently she she's not liking it, but then at the <laughs> end it's totally, you know, it's it's the other way around. She really, she wants, she's feeling it too. You guys gotta watch the video, it's so badass. The video is so sexy so funny very cool i love that song it's a repeat i keep listening to it and watching the video so you don't have to tell me i definitely love Thank that you. song yeah i love your music you know i want to talk about our show is all about inspiration and inspiring our audience and the new generation by showing success stories like yours so i want to talk about you know we talked about some success but let's talk about the challenges like what kind of challenges did you face in the beginning of your career and how did you get through it? Because it might inspire someone out there who's trying to make it and, you know, maybe is giving up. I mean, my challenges are not uh, normal challenges. I mean, I'm, I come from a very dark path. And my mom, my mom was a drug addict. My dad was a drug addict. I was a drug addict for a long time. I was in jail for three years. And... Um, that's just the beginning of a couple of my challenges, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, 
But what I'm what I'm trying to say, if you if you want a message for these young people that are listening, I came from the darkest hole that you could imagine. Mm. And if I did and I did good, you could do it too. It's all about yeah. discipline, mm-hmm. faith in God, and you're gonna make it. You know, I mean my challenge is you have to sit down and listen to it for a long time and you don't have the time in this show to listen to my challenges. But um it's it, I've been through a lot and I'm I'm here today. Mm-hmm. And I've had a long career and I've been singing for 25 years. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just blessed. Mm-hmm. And how did you get through those challenges? What kind of motivated you to pull you out of a dark place? Because I feel like a lot of people fail or have challenges and they stay there and they don't know how to get out or make their dreams happen or get through those challenges. So what kind of pulled you through these challenges to make you succeed in where you are now? I could say, uh, you know, faith in God, discipline. Mm-hmm. Wanted to break the chains of, 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 of all this darkness, you know, that my family been through for so long. Mm-hmm. I wanted to make a change. I wanted to make it better for them. So family, love, God, discipline, mm-hmm. that's the key. Yeah, I love that. And if, you know, you've been really successful in your career. So if you can name three things that has made you successful and kind of separated you from anyone out there, what would you say those things are? Those three traits that has made you extremely successful at what you do? Failure. Mm-hmm. Discipline. Mm-hmm. And God. That's all. And if you have some advice for someone who wants to do what you do, what would you say to them? You can have talent, but if you don't have discipline, nothing's going to happen. Some people have less talent, but they have 70% of discipline. Mm-hmm. And they're successful because it's all about discipline. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you go a straight line, you're going to see success. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. If you start smoking weed and spending your money and, and, and doing this because you want to buy cars and buy stupid stuff. And that's not discipline. Discipline is being smart. Mm-hmm. Discipline about doing things right. And discipline is the word for everything. When I didn't have discipline, I was in jail. I was uh, losing my money. I was bankrupt. I was a drug addict. When I started uh, having discipline, I have three movies, four movies in Hollywood. I have, I did the World Cup song for uh, Russia. I have uh, uh, more than five videos with one billion views each on my Instagram, on my YouTube channel. I have a, a beautiful career mm-hmm. because of discipline, because mm-hmm. of discipline. Everything is discipline. Mm-hmm. I love that. That's so true. Discipline is everything. You know, so many people want to succeed, but they don't have the discipline to do the hard work and to push through failure and keep going. So I think that's really, really important. And last but not least, what does success mean to you? Because you've had so much. What does it mean to you? I mean, success. Success to me means. Uh, I mean, it's 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 the product of hard work. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's your, it's your trophies or everything that all the sacrifice you've done. So it's good. I like success. I'm, I enjoy success. Do I think that it's everything? No. Do I want it to be everything? No. You're really an inspiration, and congratulations on all your success. I appreciate you so much. God bless you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.